To France now, where the government is vowing to press ahead with its sweeping reform of the country's pension system. That sparked outrage and new protests. Elaine Cobb is in Paris. <laughs> Protests in France turned violent this weekend as rioters again clashed with police. That followed a tense standoff last Thursday as almost a million people took part in demonstrations nationwide against sweeping reforms aimed at streamlining an unwieldy pension system that is almost $3 billion in the red. Transport services were hit hardest, bringing the country to a standstill. The French Rail Authority warned the situation could get dangerous tomorrow and recommended travellers change their plans. The unions voted to continue the strike action through Monday and there are more nationwide demonstrations planned for Tuesday. This is the weekend when the French traditionally start their Christmas shopping. But store owners around the country and stall holders at Christmas markets like this one are concerned they'll lose money if the strikes continue and people can't get around. The strike is not good for us. It's, for us, it's very important, and I thought we would have many more people. Many see these protests as a rejection of French President Emmanuel Macron's policies. He says the pension reforms will go ahead, despite the unrest. Elaine Cobb, CBS News, Paris.